What's up guys, this is Eric Garcia. Today I'm doing a, a roof. It's called, uh, it's a flat roof. It's a restaurant. It's a mess, honestly, it's a mess. We found a lot of damage wood. Before that, we removed four layers of uh, cap sheet, <clears throat> four layers. So this roof has been patched over and over and people, uh, well actually you can see right here, look, there's a, a flashing that we didn't remove. That's how thick it was. So one, two, three, four layers of roof, one on top of each other, a lot of damage wood. What the owner did is uh, hire someone just to come and patch whenever she had water leaks on the roof and well those guys i don't know who they are i don't want to criticize anyone but i guess they just come and get their money go out come out get their money and go out again and that's the story right now um <clears throat> we remove all four uh, swamp coolers you know the uh the water coolers that they put on the roof there used to be one over there one over there, one on that side, and one on this side, I think. And now it's uh, getting cleaned up. I'm waiting for inspection on Monday, today is Saturday. Hopefully I can get all the wood done today. I'm gonna install two layers of uh, torch down, uh, <clears throat> smooth and torch. Base, smooth and torch, which is three layers. This is the painted one, it's called polyfresco. Polyfresco, okay. Complies with title 24. Well, uh, I'm cleaning up as I go. The Tariff crew, they just came over, removed the, all the way around the perimeter, the, uh, the uh, how do you call it? Mm, the shingles, and they left. Now it's my, my turn to, uh, to do the uh, the woodwork and to to see uh, how much uh, of the damage wood I I have, but hopefully I can get it done today. It's 12 noon. I'm taking lunch, and hopefully by three, four o'clock today I'm done. So I just wanna give you this update. Right here, I'm gonna put a turbine. But before that, I'm gonna build a box for it. So I don't want the turbine to be sitting on the on the roof like that. So I'm just gonna build a box like that. See that little box over there? It's gonna be a turbine. Later on, I'm gonna make the hole for the turbine and it's gonna be ready to go. You see? There's a, there used to be a box for the uh, swamp cooler. So since the vent is there already, so I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to install a turbine right here make the hole in the center and set the turbine roof it can strip and this is the wood i hate when it's coming like this in angle because you waste a lot of uh, a lot of wood but anyway it is what it is i cannot cry right so take it as it is okay guys this is eric garcia thanks for watching thanks for watching my videos subscribe adios the cricket over there in the middle monday i'll be back and i'll make this cricket right here just love towards the the drain over there it's a little bit complicated but i already know how to do it right here we have to remove the wall because we replace some damaged wood this wall we're gonna put it back again on monday Right here I'm going to build a cricket because before they didn't have any any slope. I know I created a slope, I built my little frame right there. Remember before you make any cricket, mark it on the on the roof and then you follow the marks with your uh, two by fours or two by sixes. That's the way I did it. 
Now I'm gonna cut my plywood and put it in place. Triple-ply uh, torch down system. It's got SBS Model 5 uh, base sheet underlayment. It's got a smooth already. And it's got polyfresco torch down. I made this little valley because right here it was sagging so I raised this little area. You cannot see it so far, but the roof has some. Uh, it has a pitch over there, a pitch over towards this way. Also, I I made a new cricket right here, so the water can flow freely all the way down there. I made another cricket on that corner, and we installed shingles around the the area. Hopefully, tomorrow we can close it as much as we can. Today we did the field, we touched the field and uh, tomorrow we're gonna do the, the walls. I'm done with those walls over there, all the way through here. Tomorrow I'll finish that wall and then I'll finish this probably by noon. And then in the afternoon I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, do the, uh, mastic and uh, roof maintenance and that's it should be done tomorrow so here in the front we install shingles Three little uh, dormers, about five uh, feet of overhang. See you tomorrow, guys. Adios. Here's the way I do my uh, the little pads for the. Uh, you see the pipes? They need to have like a, a backing underneath. So now your pipe supposed to your pipes are supposed to touch the uh, the ground. I mean the uh, how do you call it? The roof. In order for you, you're gonna have to put a piece of uh, torch and then put the thing right here and then put a clamp on top of it. So this is the way you do it. I mark it with the pencil to the width of the two by four and then I. I set up one of these and then I mark them. Go like this and then I mark them. Like this and mark them. Just mark them. Just follow the line and then I'll just cut them and then I'm gonna tuck them underneath the, the two by four. This is a uh, water treated lumber so it doesn't, uh, it takes longer to get deteriorated under the the weather conditions okay so this is how i do it 
So YouTubers, I'm done. Eric Garcia. Here's another uh, flat roof. This is a commercial one. I installed shingles on the per on the uh, slope and then torch down on the inside. Right here, I finish it with the uh, roof to wall. I put the four inches on the on top of the wall and then the two inches on top of the shingles. And this is the walls. I use energy uh, cap sheet to comply with Title 24. This is City of Duarte. This is a restaurant. I don't want to name it for commercial purposes, but this is a restaurant. This is how I finish it. I touch it up over there because uh, some of the rolls they came out dirty and uh, I don't want to see it old you know so we just give it a little coat of paint I painted all my flashings black because when uh, when it's sunny it's gonna be so bright so it's gonna it's gonna bother your eyes so that's why that's the reason I I did this okay and, uh, I'm done about 25 squares of a uh, flat roof but it has a lot of slope right here there's a ridge I finish it like that so that's the that's the drain over there it's copper it's a four by six copper with a four and four feet extension just another slope that goes that way and that slope goes that way and then follow this slope come this way I build the cricket right here here it is done 100 percent i'm just waiting for inspection on monday and i should do it sbs uh base sheet, a small torch, and energy cap sheet, heat welded, and I use white mastic on my corners, end cuts, pipe flashings, everything, so this is another roof by Eric Garcia. Mm -hmm. 